so let us start with uh, the location of malaysia so uh, malaysia is located in the southeast uh, southeast part of asia and uh, it uh, the country is occupying the part of the malay peninsula and the islands uh, of borneo and the cap as you all tell that the capital city of malaysia is kuala lumpur and kuala lumpur is also the largest city of malaysia Uh, and uh, the federal government is located in putra uh, putra jaya city uh, of malaysia and um, i i want to tell you about the government of malaysia so uh, the malaysia has both a prime minister and a king uh, who told me about the uh, the name of uh, prime minister of malaysia someone told yeah can you, can you tell us again ow yes ma'am Mom, can you hear me? This is my. Yes, yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes, uh, ma'am. Should I say the prime minister's name? Yes. Yes, ma'am. The prime minister's name is Perdana Menteri. Yes, right. And uh, anyone know the name of the king? Okay, so uh, the king of Kuala uh, uh, Malaysia is Ahmad Shah, Sultan Ahmad Shah, as they call. Uh, so uh, the government is a mixed government so it is known as the constitutional monarchy and uh, the, uh, the total population of the country is around 30 million now talking about the currency uh, the currency of malaysia is ringgit uh, which we all uh, it, it is also called as malaysian dollar so uh, do you know the uh, one malaysian ringgit is equal to how many rupees anyone knows okay. ma'am can you repeat the question please okay uh, one one ringgit is equal to how in, uh, in 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 indian rupees how many indian rupees is one ringgit ma'am i know yes then 17.71 uh, uh, okay it's uh, 17.75 so one ringgit is equal to Yes, uh, one ringgit is equal to uh, rupees seventeen point seven five, and uh, here you can see this. This is the ringgit, uh, the picture of twenty twenty ringgit. So the person here, this man is the first king of Malaysia, known as Abdul Rahman. Okay, so now, um, uh, Rudra told tell us about the national flag. So uh, national flag is. the name of this national flag is jalur jemelan and uh, this is a malay word for stripes of excellence or uh, stripes of glory the flag has a uh, seven stripes of white and seven stripe of red horizontal stripes a blue a canton and a yellow and a white a, a yellow moon and a star the, the moon is known as crescent and the star shows the Uh, unity of the country okay this flag was originated from the federation of malay uh, which previously had uh, nine countries in it but now it comes under malaysia next talk next this is the culture actually malaysia is a multicultural society so there are many uh, many different cultures uh, followed in the country the main main culture that is followed is malay which is the uh, local local uh, malaysian people the other the other cultures that are followed as chinese and indian so uh, the religions that are found in this country uh, are divided mainly into four four major uh, religions that are followed in this country is islamic first uh, islam is the dominant uh, dominant religion and 60% people follow islam so uh, you saw that uh, moon and star in the uh, flag that shows that a uh, country is dominated to islam uh, you know that uh, islam is a is every islamic countries use a moon and a, a star for their as their symbol so uh, uh, another another uh, religion that is followed is buddhism uh, which is followed by most of the chinese people and uh, other other religion that is followed by chinese is uh, deism 
the third majorly followed is uh, hinduism which is practiced by malaysian indians and fourth ma uh, fourth major um, religion is christianity which is followed mostly in the east uh, malaysian uh, states and uh, other other uh, religions that are followed are bahai and sikhism next about uh, talking about the languages so um, who knows the national language of malaysia no i cannot hear you am i audible now hello yes ma'am ma'am yes yes malaysian bahasa or something yes yes it's it's known as bahasa and the, this is the official language and the national language of the country and other languages that they speak is malaysian english then chinese languages and also indian languages so uh, next talking about the geographical aspects of the country so country is uh, country's total land area is around 329847 square kilometer and the country is 66th largest country with um, according to its area it's the 66th largest country and uh, the country is divided into two parts one is the peninsular malaysia and the second is the east malaysia and uh, the highest mountain range that is present in malaysia is crocker range can you tell me the name of the state uh, in which crocker range is present anyone sabah yes sabah can you repeat so this range divides the country into two parts which is peninsular and malaysian east malaysian other uh, ranges are also uh, there in malaysia like mount kinabalu mount uh, tambukon teras madi range and bombalai hills okay next uh, since i see malaysia is a is a land of islands there are many islands and uh, like it uh, it has numerous of island so no your voice is going in between okay 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 um uh, is it okay now mm, am i audible now yes ma'am it is audible okay so uh, the okay. so the largest uh, island is bangi island okay and uh, you know that malaysia uh, the isle the malaysia is known as the coral reef anyone knows what is coral skull hmm ma'am coral means i guess the sea no okay so coral is a type of animal that lives inside water and they behaves as a plant but they are actually animal they join themselves and forms an island and Mal ha most of the malaysian parts are made of coral uh, coral uh, they are made of coral so uh, most of the lands are coral in malaysia uh, next uh, uh, you all know that the national animal is malayan tiger and the national bird is rhino hornbill next uh, now let's let's visit some of the best yes rhino hornbill is uh, uh, very similar to rhino because he has no. a, a type of that he has that orange and red horn yes yes it has a horn that's why it's called a rhino horn horn bill because Uh, the horn looks like a rhino horn yeah yeah so ne next let's uh, visit some of the best places in malaysia first is twin tower i hope everyone knows about twin tower so a uh, twin tower is also yes, known as petrona star okay so twin tower is located in kuala lumpur Kuala Lumpur is the capital city of um, Malaysia and it's located uh, in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur so this tower is around 1483 feet and the total uh, floors is 88 and there is a bridge in between uh, 41 and 42nd floor this bridge is uh, 
is the highest um, second story bridge in the world and this twin tower is also the highest uh, highest twin tower in the world and the architect who uh, who designed this um, twin tower was uh, uh, fazlul rahman khan next we have uh, uh, selamgar this uh, selamgar is a city uh, if you are going to kuala lumpur you will get the city in between so this city or the state is famous for this batu cave and this batu cave has a temple a shrine inside and um, the lord which is uh, worshiped inside is known as lord murugan uh, which we also worship in south india right so um, this uh, to visit this cave you have to uh, like uh, uh, there is a lot of stairs there from that you enter enter the temple and you get this um, this view from inside which is a very beautiful uh, view and uh, during uh, there is a festival or a holiday which is known as thai uh, pusam uh, in which there a uh, people visits visit to batu cave to worship uh, lord murugan and mostly uh, hindu uh, like indian Mal malays or indian people visit this cave next is a uh, putra mosque uh, as i told you that uh, malaysia has most most uh, most of the people in malaysia are islamic that practice islamic so this mosque this is the mosque and the tomb of this mosque is made of rose tinted uh, granite this is a very beautiful mosque and uh, this here uh, this green uh, tomb building this is the palace of the king okay that sultan i i, I told you about sultan ahmed khan he is living now here and this mosque can have around 15000 people at a time to worship in it and uh, this um, uh, this mosque is made in 1997 started me uh, began to uh, uh, construction was started in 1997 and it took two years to complete this mosque fully uh, functional in two years it became fully functional in two years next is kl tower so this is kuala lumpur tower it is a very beautiful tower and uh, it is also known as the communication tower that is uh, uh, it has a an antenna at its top and this antenna can increase its height up to 421 meter and kuala lumpur is, tower is no also known as kl tower yes yes the short form of kuala lumpur tower is kl tower ma'am yes so it's a tower so there is a door also we can go in the tower yes you can uh, there is a lift here at the very down and you can visit to the top floor of the kl tower and this is the view you get from the top of the building and this is the seventh largest free standing tower in the world Uh, you get all the views like you can see the whole malaysia from this star whole kuala lumpur you will even get a view of the, that twin tower from Ma'am, this can place. i tell a fact about kuala lumpur tower yes please ma'am here is a very now uh, from the top very good view to panoramic view of the city yes yes right Uh, now we have avana skyway so this have you ever been to the skyway or any other skyway yes ma'am just ma like this i have yes ma'am yes, ma yes yes so this There'll avana be sliding inside this gabbar. car like thing yeah this car like thing is known as gondola okay ma'am okay. ma'am so, uh, this ma it has ropeway in icy yes, places yes. also they will use this to go and, to place to place and what is called that cart type something yeah this cart yeah this cart is known as gondola gondola yeah so the, uh, so this is the world's longest uh, skyway and this is uh, this uh, connects the genting highlands from malaysia that is uh, Jaya and uh, to Genting Highlands. There is a very beautiful island. Malaysia. 
Uh, I request everyone to mute. One second, ma'am. It will be used in IC places also, ma'am, right? In Moscow. Yes, it's generally, uh, generally it is used, uh, used to travel in the high, high, high latitude. Because uh, in the thick snow, we will drown. That's why they put uh, these wires to go to place. No, it just makes, makes the traveling more easy. Because if and, you go from uh, road, you will, will have to cover a long far. distance. Yes. So they are put in this. Yeah. Okay. So Miss, this, yes. Miss, can you repeat the name of the mosque? Mosque. Kutra, Kutra Mosque. Kutra Mosque. Okay. So uh, can I uh, can I continue now? Okay, ma'am. So uh, yes. So this uh, this is used to uh, visit Genting Highland. There is a very beautiful uh, highland. It's called a highland because it's little higher from the normal sea level, or you can say from normal Malaysia plain. So uh, this uh, Avana uh, Skyway is a uh, is a uh, uh, is a uh, it can uh, hold up to two thousand people per hour, uh, and each gondola can carry around eight people, maximum eight people, and if if the weather is clear and uh, nothing me, and no rainy season is there then uh, me, yes sorry to interrupt ma'am um, because of the phone call and an emergency phone call i missed what you said okay you want me to repeat yes about this okay yes. so uh avana skyway this connects jaya it's a city to genting highland okay so uh, this this is the uh, this is the longest highway in the uh, this is the longest skyway in the world and it can carry around 2000 people per hour and uh, one gondola that uh, this uh, car can have eight maximum people and uh, it uh, it it travels around 3.38 kilometer and uh, the journey takes around 15 minutes if the weather is okay so uh, now let uh, I have a, a video of some uh, uh, more places that can be visited in uh, Malaysia. So let me share that. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. Even I have a, a video. Um, it's about best places in Malaysia. Okay. Um, we will uh, we will see after after I complete. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, is it visible? Yes, ma'am. If countries were awarded for diversity, Malaysia would top first place. Not only is Malaysia a melting pot of ethnic cultures, but it is also a blend of many different customs, cuisines, and religions all coexisting peacefully together. From large island groups to mountains and tropical rainforests, the country's geography is every bit as diverse. What's more, Malaysia is a unique country in that it is divided into two main land masses. West Malaysia occupies the southern half of a peninsula shared with Thailand, while East Malaysia is situated on the Borneo Island. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Malaysia. Number 10. Malacca Lying on the west coast of the Malaysian Peninsula, Malacca is a unique place to visit due to the British, Dutch, and Portuguese all having ruled here at one point. As such, there is a wealth of colonial architecture to explore, with each nation having left its mark in terms of the buildings left behind and the cultural impact that they had. With the lively night market and a wide range of different cuisines, this charming city is understandably a popular tourist destination in Malaysia.
Number nine, Cameron Highlands. The Cameron Highlands is one of Malaysia's most extensive hill stations, first developed by the British in the 1920s. It has a population of more than 34,000 people, consisting of Malays, Chinese, Indians, and other ethnic groups. The Cameron Highlands is renowned for its trails. They lead visitors through the forest to waterfalls and other tranquil spots. Apart from its jungle walks, the sanctuary is also known for its tea plantations, and visitors can book several tea factory tours. Number 8. Mount Kinabalu Towering 4,095 meters above northern Borneo, Mount Kinabalu is the highest mountain between the Himalayas and the island of New Guinea. The main peak of the mountain can be climbed easily by a person with a good physical condition and requires no mountaineering equipment, although climbers must be accompanied by guides at all times. For those with limited time or energy, there are gardens and many short walks through the jungle to enjoy the vicinity of the entrance. Number 7. Perhentian Islands Located off the coast of northeastern Malaysia, not far from the Thai border, the Perhentian Islands are the must-go place in Malaysia for budget travelers. The two main islands are Perhentian Besar, meaning Big Perhentian, and Perhentian Kecil, meaning Small Perhentian. They have some of Malaysia's most beautiful beaches and great diving with plenty of cheap accommodation. Visitors can also explore the tropical jungle that covers most of the island's terrain. Number 6. Batu Caves Travelers who make their way to Batu Caves near Kuala Lumpur will be rewarded with some pretty awesome Hindu art. The three main caves that make up Batu Caves make it the most popular Hindu shrine outside of India and attract thousands of worshippers. The highlight of the site is a giant statue of a Hindu god reached by climbing 272 steps to the cathedral cave. Monkeys also enjoy the site and can be seen playing there.
Number five, Penang. Historically regarded as the Pearl of the Orient because of its important location among the sea trade route, Penang is a colorful island shaped by its diverse culture, heritage, and world-famous cuisine. A must-do here is a stroll around the historic Georgetown to see its colonial buildings, stately mansions, and lovely temples. Visitors will find plenty of activities that range from excellent shopping to horse riding on the beach, photographing snakes in the Snake Temple, and cable car rides up to Penang Hill. Number 4. Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur is a bustling city that serves as the capital of Malaysia. The country's most populous city, it has a landscape filled with innovatively designed skyscrapers, including the iconic Petronas Twin Towers, the world's tallest twin towers. Kuala Lumpur also boasts an outstanding Islamic art museum, the Bukit Bintang pedestrian bridge that connects the downtown area, and a bird park that is the world's largest walk-in aviary. Number 3. Taman Negara Encompassing three states across the northern part of West Malaysia, Taman Negara is reputed to be the oldest tropical rainforest in the world. A popular ecotourism destination, this national park is teeming in wildlife, from rare plants to scarce animals like the Malayan tiger and the Sumatran rhinoceros. One of the most popular things to do in Taman Negara is the canopy walk a long suspension bridge high above the treetops where visitors can walk and glimpse exotic birds. with its many diverse landscapes of beaches, mountains, rainforests, and mangrove Mom. Okay. It's France. I'm see my DAP also. It's out of Canada only. Canada. Canada. Okay, so Asia. Uh, let's, let's talk about the Malaysian food. Ma'am, I love Malaysia. My mom has gone when she's at college. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a very beautiful place. So, uh... I like Malaysia and United Kingdom. Okay. So, it's similar to the South Indian food that we eat. Okay. But the famous, the, Malaysia is famous for its chocolates. 
the there is a boutique which is known as Harrison Boutique, and this is the Malaysian chocolate boutique or chocolate company, and they have around one fifty types of different chocolates. And uh, the chocolates are of different flavors. One fifty different flavors, which includes durian, curry, ginger, almonds. In fact, they have ruby flavored chocolate. They have pink, uh, pink color chocolates. Different, different types of chocolate. And you, if you visit there, you can even see the chocolate, uh, the core of the chocolates from its what it is made of, from where we get the chocolate from. Ma'am, can I ask one second, please? Yes, please. Uh, what is the regular food? It's eaten in Malaysia. You tell me. Uh, do you know about the the food, uh, the main uh, food that Malaysia? And I do have a doubt that. Yes. Yes. What is the? It's chocolate, ma'am. No, it's it's name as nasi lemak. Okay, it's a rice based food. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. It's ma'am, almost similar is... to South Indian food. Yes. Yes. Okay. okay. Ma'am, which is Thank you. Malaysia's Thank you. national bird? No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, national tree. I don't know. You know, you can tell me. Okay, then we will find I it out after. Okay, then we will find it out after the meet. Okay. Ma'am, I have a doubt. So, yes, yes. Ma'am, what is it? Uh, I mean, the brown color. Is that an ash? Chocolate. These are right pastries. Now. Yeah, these yes. are pastries. Okay. And there's a pink color strawberry flavor cake also there. Yes, they have the same flavor. Yeah, puddings and everything. Can you? Yes, yes. Ma'am, is it national? This is national. This is Mumbai. Ma'am. Yes, yes. Ma'am, is everything sweet in the plate? Yes. yes everything, everything is, is very tasty. They are all puddings they make in Genting Highland. Uh, there are there is a uh, we'll put cream, store where you will get every flavor yeah every flavor every flavor this is a peanut is peanut based this is a strawberry based chocolate lemon honey and there is a cream flavor. like ice cream <laughs> yes yes it's like an icing on the cake yes. and then we have fruits are fruits orange apple, apple. green apple red apple yeah. And I'm very happy. I'm watching the video. Right, right. Tandy, you have been here. Pineapple. Tandy, you have been here. Yes. Uh, so and uh, next. Can I share this, the video? Let me complete first, Jessica. So, uh, this is the uh, air food. This is the Kuala Lumpur Airport. This is one of the beautiful play, a beautiful airport you can visit in the world. It has and a very beautiful ambience. So beautiful. The entrance is only so beautiful. No, uh, the whole uh, Malaysian airport is very beautiful. This is the international airport in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, so, uh, talking about the airlines that are present, so uh, it is Air Asia, Virgin, Malaysian Airlines, Firefly, and Malindo Air. The national uh, airline of Malaysia is Ma Malaysian Airlines. Uh, now uh, I want to show you a video on Malaysian Airlines, and you will enjoy it. Wait, I'll show you. Uh, is it visible? Life is made up of countless journeys. Some short, some long, some of epic proportions. Our journey with you through the years has been an amazing one.
Our journeys are rarely made alone. Our journeys are shared with those we care about. But sometimes we meet new acquaintances along the way who embrace you for who you are. That lends you comfort. Give you courage, joy, and lasting memories. The very things that make every journey amazing. On this journey called life, we believe that everyone is a traveler waiting to make that great trip with someone. And those who have walked with us, we still remember till this day. At Malaysia Airlines, our journey is made even more remarkable when it's with people like you. What we've achieved couldn't have been done without our partners. Here at Malaysia Airlines, we are one team. is more seamlessly connected than ever to every corner of the world. To some 800 destinations across 150 countries with more to come. Our journey as a company allows us to meet other like-minded partners who share our vision. As we look to the future, we're taking on a new journey with you. To us, journeys should never be a lonesome pursuit. Journeys are meant to be shared. Malaysia. Okay, uh, first, yeah. first, first, Subhanita wants to show us a PPT. So uh, let us first see her PPT, then we will go on to your video. Yes, Subhanita, you can share us, uh, show us your PPT. Nice, Subhanita. Nice, nice, Subhanita, nice. Can you unmute your mic and say what is this? culture of malaysia the girls the malaysia malaysian girls wear these traditional types of dress and the boys wear like this and i have the some malaysian food here 
What is this last one like noodles? I do not know, but I know only the name. Uh, and the current Malaysia. Are those noodles? No, that is those not were, noodles. Those were shrimp noodles. It has a fish which is known as shrimp. It has a, it, uh, it is there with. Can you show us the currency of Malaysia? Yes, one second. Okay. In the currency name is Malaysian Rikir. Are you Malaysian? No, I'm Hindu. Please don't annotate on the screen. And the popular flower in Malaysia, and it's also called world's biggest flower. And it's called, and the name of uh, flower is called raffles. It stings a lot, right? Yes. In the beautiful places of Malaysia, In the national animal of uh, uh, Malaysia is the tiger. National flower is hibiscus. National flag of Malaysia and national fruit of Malaysia. And I have a small fact. Malaysia has a 30... I mean, Malaysia has a rich history date, dating back to the, the uh, 13th century. It was busy seaport for European as far east traders for many hundred of years. Thank you for seeing my presentation. Thank you. Thank you so much. This was a beautiful PPT. Thank you, ma'am. It was nice, Subinita. Thank you. Ma'am, I'm Sandy. Yes. Ma'am, I have a video to play, ma'am. Can I uh, share the video? Ma'am, even I have. Yes, uh, let Ishika first share uh, her video. She is telling us. Okay, ma'am. Uh, okay, Ishika, you can share. Ma'am, only for two minutes because it's already time. Yes, yes, okay. Let's see. Uh, okay, ma'am, I'm just share. Maitra, you first do the presentation. This is the same video I played. So, uh, yes, ma'am. So, you can and, stop sharing. And when you share the video, Ishika, you have to unmute, then everybody can hear it. Okay, uh, yeah, I was just doing Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed today's tour to Malaysia. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma today I will yes, take a PPT of. So ma can we ma'am, it was nice, ma'am. Yes. Bye, yes. Maitra. So, uh, Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you, everyone, for joining us.